back <laughs> with part two of this mega ass one week of diving. There is so much stuff in this. Grab a snack, grab a drink. We're gonna be here for a minute. Let's check out what we got. Hey right, guys, so first thing, here's all those rods we got from that Bed Bath & Beyond dive. We are gonna keep the <laughs> Someone told me the name of these and I forgot already and then those hooks are what they hang off of on the edges of the windows Unfortunately, I don't think I have any win well actually my bedroom windows and I do have four of them might be small enough to actually use these bars oh, yeah. but um, I'm more keen on using like that bar over there for like balls because we have found Quite a few without the balls on the end or with busted Okay, I'm done saying balls for this video. <laughs> but anyways, you get the point. So there's those. And then we found a pet carrier at um, Staples. So we're going to start with like the big stuff on top. And then we'll get to the bags on bottom. Alright, so we found this cool diaper bag. Nothing wrong with it. It's called an eye pack. It has literally a pocket for everything. I looked it up. It's the stroller edition. It comes with another little bag inside of it for, I don't know, maybe this is the mommy bag because it has like a spot for the phone and the headphones and like the diapers and stuff. I don't know. I think this is the coolest thing. I wish they'd have had bags like this when my babies were little, but I think it's super cute and it looks like brand new basically has a pocket for everything the iPad the phone the pacifier so yeah that's pretty cool guys well my battery's flashing and Aaron's moving those things I just showed you guys um I always get this question do I sell yes I do sell and as of right now I'm not selling on eBay or I can't just sell like PayPal I haven't got that set up yet I will eventually my main two platforms is Macari and Poshmark and if you sign up through my codes, there is always, always a link in the description box below to my Macari and Poshmark. It'll take you straight to my page. Yeah, download the app if you don't already have it downloaded from the giveaway before. And if you sign in with my code, Macari will give you $10 free and I think Poshmark gives you like $5 free. Then also you get your own codes to give to your friends and vice versa. So you get it. So yes, I sell and check out my Macari and Poshmark. Now, back to the video. So then we have a baby bamboo that is in perfect condition. This as well is already listed on my Macari. As well as this cute little baby bath. I just gotta wipe it down, see there? But I always wipe everything down and sanitize it before shipping. And moving right along, I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible, guys. I got this cute little robe and I actually got it for my friend Megan. Cause she loves Halloween and it's too small for me, but it's all there. And then it has, or I found, I also found this little jacket for Sai, so mommy and baby can match. So she was super excited about that, and I just told her, "Let me film first. Sorry about that, guys. My battery died. So then there is this. This was a Bed Bath and Beyond find, and I don't understand why they threw it out because it's freaking perfect condition. Maybe because it doesn't have a box. That could be, I guess that maybe it was a display. Okay. Aaron wins on that one. Anyway, so that's basically brand new. And then at the pet store, I believe this was PetSmart. We found three of these guys. And uh, I believe they're like hunting vests or, you know, vests for when they're running. But there's three of these and... Uh, the straps are all there and everything's there. I'm going to wash them up and since it's like bow season here I'm going to list them local and see how that does. This cute little mermaid bag we found in the Petco dumpster which was odd. So there's a little fairy incent holder that I got for Megan. She's missing the arm but I have the little arm. And then there's some laptop speakers. Which hopefully these work. Honey, help. Because I need them for my laptop. And then there is a pump for an air mattress, which that's always a cool score. Here's her little arm. I just got to glue that on for her. And then here is the clock to this box. 
Aaron just has to solder the little cord back together and she'll be good as new. Moving right along. And uh, these were also found there. They're super cute. These are listed on Macari. Nothing wrong with them. And just in time for the winter. And they match. And I have them listed together. I'm going to give them a good wash. And then send them to storage until they go. So yeah, those are size small, which is 0 to 3 months or 3 to 6. Let's check. 3 to 6. Alright, so there's those. And then, okay, so this tote was empty and we found it at that baby place same place where I just showed you those things and we had it in the car because we always like to carry a tote with us and we were diving and we stopped at Big Lots and Mega scored on <gasps> Ta-da! Ding Dongs! <laughs> so Aaron won't stay out of them damn it anyways Hella Donuts and Ding Dongs Donuts. So, Aaron has already ate one of these, and my mom jacked one. So, there was two of these. And so, there was there's four all together. They said they're really good. And then there was this cute little push vacuum that my mom already claimed for her little living room. So, there's that. But, again, nothing wrong with it. Looks brand new. Maybe they didn't have a box for it. That's all I can think of. So, all right, let's move right along, trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Those look so good. All right, so this box right here we found at Ulta. Aaron just had to have it. You will never believe what's in it. Um, and it is all glass shelves. They're all in here in perfect condition. And I don't know what we'll build or if we'll sell them or keep them or what, but we weren't leaving them behind. So there's those. All right, so then this was also at the baby place and mainly I got it for the tote because they just keep throwing away practically brand new totes with the lids, but it is full of very large Legos and my little Sai Sai apparently would love them according to mommy, so I guess that's where these will go. Super score, Lego score, free tote. Love free totes. Moving right along. Hi. Back up. Back up. Let's sit down. Are you saying hello? Shake on it. Shake on it. Can I have it back? <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. All right, go get on your bed. Mama needs room. So this was PetSmart, and it is all in here. We found all the little pieces and spare filters. What the heck are the odds in that? We will obviously plug it in, make sure that it works. But there's what it looks like. So I think it's for um, like the 50 to 100 gallons. So here, baby, we set that aside. Now I found this girl a while back. I don't remember where, but um, I don't remember if I showed her to you guys. And if anybody coll collects Cabbage Patch dolls, <laughs> I know I did when I was a kid. If anybody could let me know if she's worth keeping. She says 85 on her bum. She's not in bad shape. I think I can get that marker out pretty easy. But yeah, so found her. And then this was a Staples haul. So these are peel and ship shipping labels. Of course, I can always use this kind of stuff for my reselling and then this tote and then more printing paper or cardstock. Oh, even better. Okay. And then markers, the sniffy kind. And then there was a bunch of pens. And here's a little handle to it that fell off. And then there was these. These were all in there, but... Aaron and I only grabbed two of them just so we would have something to play with that day. Because <laughs> they're pretty cool. So yeah, there was this tote, which I thought was super handy because, duh, can never have too many totes when you do what we do. Hi. Kibber, did you show me your necklace? Santa pretty girl. And a pretty girl. 
Peter Gear Kibber. Yeah. And then this was a frame that we found at Michael's. It has someone's name on it. Um, dryer 928. I assume it was a custom order. And they maybe changed their mind or didn't pick it up. But I don't know. We couldn't leave it behind. I don't know. You guys tell me. Does somebody want it? I'll let you have it to just pay the shipping, which would be probably $650. Um, if there's an artist out there or, you know, something. Yeah, so there's, I believe, four of these. Yeah. I can't really feel. And then I'm, I assume the side pieces or, I don't know. Oh, it's just one big frame. Oh, yeah, okay. So there's four of that size. Duh, I knew that. So, yeah, if anybody wants this just for the shipping, just if they're artist. And also let me know because we have a ton of frames that, um... You know, don't have the glass or don't have the back or whatever that we we're going to put out in the yard sale next year. But, yeah. So, let us know, guys. So, we found this little Sports Illustrated, Sports Illustrated bag. Like, you get those when, uh, I don't know. If, I don't know, but know this is super cool. Illustrated, but if you order their magazines, like, sometimes they send you free gifts. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's cool. Anyways, we can always use a bag, right? It could even be a little lunch bag, in my opinion, or just a overnight travel bag or whatever. But I think it is a lunch bag because it's got, or maybe a gym bag, maybe? So I'm trying to do the big stuff before we get into the bags. This is cool. I hope that works. I hope this works, too. I, I think my dogs will love this. She is crazy when it comes to that laser. You want your laser? Her paws like this. You want your laser? Where's your laser? <laughs> Where's your laser? <laughs> Anyways, this thing is super cool, so hopefully it works. Um, I kind of want to open it and see. But I don't want this video to be too long at the same time. It just doesn't have any batteries. Bay, there's batteries right behind you in that box. Oh my god, it works, you guys, and she sees it. Hey, Bay. <laughs> this is great! It just keeps spinning around. Oh my god, this works! Yes! <laughs> Alright guys, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. My dog thinks she's a damn cat. Where'd it go? <laughs> so there's a um potato deluxe cutter. What? Come on, baby. Yeah, they're right here. Dude, why did they throw this one here? Well, maybe because it was a return or a floor model, or maybe it's supposed to come with two sizes of cutters. Does it have one in it? Let yeah, me see. Yeah. It so it is all there. And that's like restaurant oh, grade. That's why, right there. What? It's bent. Oh, we can bend it back. Yeah, totally. Uh, and and look, clean. all you got to do is switch it to the big one. Or that. So there's this. Guys, I'm trying to hurry. Alright guys, so remember the other day when we met the other diver? I saw the footage of us finding this laptop. He told us the motherboard is fried. I don't know if it's worth keeping or selling for parts or... I don't know. You guys comment down below and let us know what you think. We do have the charger for it. Then we found this little thing for our soldering gun, which we need because we didn't have. Guys, there's so much stuff. I hope y'all grabbed a snack. So there's extension cord. We need that too. Um, there's a bunch of modems in here. And of course, we'll be testing them all before anything. Um, what is this? It's a... Uh, the heck? It's a... Uh, it's so you can hook up uh, multiple things at a time. Let me see. Holy crap. What's this worth, guys? Anyways... Then there's another little Netgear modem, and then all the cords for this stuff. 
Oh yeah, and there was these guys right here, which are um, window alarms. Like you put one on one side, one on the other. If someone tries to sneak in, they go off. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And then we kept this Xbox One box because like I said guys, the boxes sell because people want to buy the box so that they can resell theirs new in the box or you know whatever with the box okay i am not pulling these out but they are in here heavy. they are very heavy and they are all there but yeah i thought that was pretty cool so we got these from well one of the pet stores we go to is also shared with a sports store so when we got that um wrestling gear this is where that came from i believe it's a pet co but these are size 10 if anybody wanted to know. <laughs> Which means the shoes are size 10. So yeah. Alright, moving right along. Hi Ralph. Hi Ralph. Hi buddy. Alright, so we got one frame. This one's so cute. I think I'm going to redo this one myself and keep it because I love it. There's one frame. Two frame. I love these. Megan's going to want this. And then we got another knife block, guys. These are amazing because you just slide the knives in so you don't have to worry about hitting the hole or anything. And I've already found two of these, but this is the third one. I'm very excited about it. So there's this, and then this is all here. And the weirdest part... Um, I haven't plugged it in to make sure it works, but I will. But I think that the reason that they threw it away... Could you take this to the kitchen for me, sweetie? Thank you. I think the reason they threw this away is because for them, it wasn't all there. Now, <laughs> we dive all the time, so we have quite a few things that... So, sorry about that. My camera shut off. So, we found it like this with the box. Now, if you look on top of the box, you see that little guy right there? I believe that's why they threw it away because it didn't have that piece but guess what I did <laughs> how crazy is that <laughs> yep I had it here at home I've been using it for a laundry scoop cup but now it's going to get washed and back to the popcorn maker and back in the box so so yeah and I will plug this in and see if it works but they didn't cut the cord Probably because they thought, well, it ain't going to work because it's going to pop right out of there. But guess what? <laughs> I have parts they don't think I have. And it was from two different Bed Bath & Beyonds that I found those, the two different pieces. <laughs> so that's funny. So we found a window fan. Hopefully it works. We haven't tested it yet. But those are always handy. And that's a pretty big one. So whether that's there or not, hopefully it works. And then there is a Furminator handle. These are very expensive, but they're the ones that you can change the heads out on. So I thought that was a cool find. And then there is this Power Surger. It says return item, not resellable. Reptile. So I also have a reptile lamp. I might just put this together as a set as long as it works right. And sell it like that. I think so it has a timer on it yeah. so that all the lights in the cage can go off because you don't want to leave your heat rock on your reptile his insides are fry and then there's a bag of some kind of dog food that's super cut and I will look that up make sure it's not recalled and a can of cat food for Galen yeah and recovery aid absorption omega 100% natural athlete active dog boost licks whatever that is they are in there so that's odd but all right so this was more of the pet store haul there was a water bottle some fish food this was dollar tree dollar tree dollar tree Dollar Tree. Uh, this was from the Baby Place, and they're so dang cute. Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree. These two bags are from the Baby Store, and it's like all little girl newborn clothes. And I'm just gonna donate them. 
Oh, why does that have to have a hole in the top? Oh, these are bogs. Huh. All right, anyway, so um, either I will just donate these to the local Helping Hands. All right, so this bag right here was in the um, Petco one. And I think it's because someone threw their trash away. But it's full of Wranglers. And y'all know Wranglers are good pants. So I will be listing those as long as the zippers and everything work. So yeah. There's that. Moving right along. So this was at the dollar store. And guys, I have so many containers from there. That I have lost lids for. And this was insane find. So... Yeah, so we grabbed them, and if anybody needs any of these lids, let me know. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is like uh, this we found at Bed Bath and Beyond, right, baby? Yeah. Okay. So this is more pet store stuff. So we got some super absorbent pads. These were from the Dollar Tree. I remember them. We got bags of treats. Wait, we might have already hauled these in the last haul. If we did, I'm sorry, and they got mixed in. Yeah, we did. And then another bag of treats. And then this bag of treats. And if I already hauled this stuff and already uploaded it, guys, I'm sorry. It got mixed in, and here it is again. So there's a cat treat, a dog bowl, more fish filters. This is going to my mom. Some pet shampoo. A collar for Kimber. Needed these really bad. Um, more dog, a little cat bill, so there's all that, and a box of cinnamon toast crunch, or whatever, cinnamon toasters from the dollar store. This was Bed Bath & Beyond, and see how I said we don't, we get ones that don't have ends? Now we have all kinds of ends. And then, from the pet store, we got one big huge bag of authority, and I always do recall checks, guys, always. They're probably just past their best by date. And then science diet. And then cat food. More cat food. Puppy and puppy. So there's all that. And then there's another one of these. This is like the third one I've found, I believe. From Bed Bath & Beyond. These are all full except for this one. This was Dollar Tree. Guys, this was also Dollar Tree. And this makes me so sad. Because I think there's one in here that's broken. But look at that. Keep calm and fight on. I love these, guys. These are awesome. Ooh. But yeah, I think that they're trained to... There's the broken one right there. See it? I think they're trained that whenever the they pick up the box, if it rattles, they're not even supposed to open it. So, And we don't know what's in this one, so Babe's going to have to open it. Holy crap. Oh my god, you guys. They're all intact. See? They're little vases. They're not even broken. Wow. That is so cool. Alright, so we got a whole box of little vases. That was the dollar store. Alright guys, let's do the dollar store bags first. Oh, Megan's going to want this. So there's a tablecloth. She's been collecting these too. We got a lid. I love these kind of lids. And this lid. And... Oh, oh! We got some little alphabet letters. We're missing a C. See if those are any of those are good, hon. Fight ten thousand bad guys with swords. Ah. Swords. I'm GI Joe. Oh, where's the handcuffs? I'm gonna need them. No. Oh. That's not in that bad a shape. Just put some uh, green marker on it, huh? 
part of the little GI Joe. Oh, frackle wackle. What did they do? They were solar powered. Oh, I can fix him. He's nothing to fix. Where does little switch go? Look at there. Well, he's dead, but I can just glue his little... Oh, he's so cute. Anyways, this guy's a goner. <laughs> he's creepy as hell. <laughs> Here's more of the little G.I. Joe kit. More of it. What? I think Megan will still want him. She's down for anything Halloween, whether it works or not. Well, we got some booby beads. I don't know what else to call them. Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> oh, there's the rest of his head. That's it, and that's all for that bag. Jen, you can take tomorrow off. I'll be here. You need to do an open close on Friday, so let me help you. Exclamation point. <laughs> All right, uh, honey, get down here with us. Dollar store bag. I see a crap ton of dead balloons. This one's really heavy, yeah. Holy crap, cool. And then there's this little guy, brand new. Jingle Bell. What do you got? Right on, I was just telling babe we need more extension cords. We got another bat for Megan. And they're supposed to be headless, by the way. Or at least the ones at the family dollar are headless. Oh, cool. Oh, whoa. Um, let's see. This might not even be bad. Yep, June 2019 it was probably a four pack and someone opened it. So these are still good. Oh, That's little baby Jesus. What? Is it cool? Yeah. It's not for you. Look at that. Is it full? Yeah. Q-tips. More? What the heck? It, oh. Yeah, it is right there. I've never seen it. you never know. seen those? No. Mouse traps. <laughs> yeah, they're Holy so crap. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sure they're not set. What is this? Oh, cool. It's a happy birthday. It's a happy birthday chair cover. Cola. More cola? Here, let's get rid of these dead balloons. Holy crap. Here's another one. Wow, guys, this is crazy. Here's some bubbles. We always find <gasps> batteries, yay! That's what I smell right there. Throw these away. Snacks. Here's a car sniffer. A little Christmas More tree ornament. Or Sai. Yeah, Sai loves these Kool-Aids, you guys. He loves them. Oh. Oh, we'll just glue that back together for her. Megan gets all the decorations always. Wow. Whoa. You should score. Well, we don't have to buy any. <laughs> We saved them. <laughs> Except for these. No, we won't keep those. Here's another little piece. So here's a couple more Kool-Aids. A little tiny, whoa, man, careful. A little dish. He's always throwing stuff and I'm afraid he's gonna hit the camera. A little Noel. So oh, that sucks. Look at all these Q-tips. Q-tips galore. <laughs> we can't save them all, guys. We can't save them all. And then there's a bag of, I assume, broken cups in a broken frame that I'm not going to open. Oh, yeah. This sucks, guys. But listen. So right here, we already saw these because they were in there just like this. All right, guys. So there is like... 
six or seven of these plates and they're really pretty but they all have like a chip on them or two chips but if anybody is like an artist that does like where they break the plates or CDs up and then they like mosaic tile it or whatever and might want to put these to use message me let me know at least that way they're not going to waste because they're very pretty and I'd hate to throw them back away but otherwise that's what I'm gonna do with them so comment down below if you have ideas on what to do with these guys Last two bags, and they are Bed Bath & Beyond. Here's the edge. Dakota says hi. Thanks, Slicer. Dude, really? I've been wanting one of these, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yep. What? Can you all see? It's a frog space bag. That is a hell of a score. These are super expensive, and we have a ton of blankets we've been wanting to store away. God, they throw so I love to find these. I literally just screw them to the wall because sometimes, like, our, our house is a trailer, and so these won't stick on it, but they do stick on the windows very well. Oh, I just screw it to the wall. You're going to be happy about this. <sighs> These are what I build my guinea pig cages out of. Well, or I just make extra shelves out of these. That's awesome! <gasps> are you serious? Oh my gosh, you guys. Yay! Here's a... They've been starting using pink, guys. Oh, wow. Well. What? Even these are in there. <gasps> the clips for them. Yes. I'm in here, honey. Uh, That's a duvet cover. That is so pretty. Look at this duvet cover, guys. And it's just on there a little bit. It's not very much in there. Maybe I can get that out. We'll see. Holy cow. What? Yep, they're all in here. Those are the clips to the... This thing I hit my ankle on, I want you guys to know. Three times. And it's solid. And it hurt. But, we saved it. <laughs> And it's pretty cool. It's a trash can for a bathroom. Bet. I'm going to look it up. Put the picture right here. <laughs> Second row. Not nearly as heavy. Bag number two. More, Bed, bath, and beyond. More pillows. I bet they sliced it. They've been doing that lately. Yep. Make sure they look up. The heater? Nothing. What is it? It's a heater. Nuh uh. Yeah. Dude, that's a little plug-in heater. Wow. There's another one. What? <gasps> These are freaking mega scores There's you got. Are you serious? <gasps> There's another one. Uh-uh. Okay. What's this? What's this? Is that a scale? Whoa, that's cool. Wow. Let's try these batteries we just found from Dollar Tree and see if this works. Oh, yeah. Hiding in the pillow. Nuh-uh. Those are cool scores right there. My mom would probably need one of these in Arizona for her bathroom. Oh, it beeped. And it works. <laughs> it's not even painted. <laughs> Oh, that's, we've needed one too. That's so cool. These are what's up right here, you guys. That is an awesome score. Hopefully I can get that off of there without getting any liquid into the grits if I spray my rag first with that cleaner. But this one is only painted right there. And I honestly don't think that anybody's going to care if they're half pink as long as they work, right? Yeah, that's fine, honey. 
They've been tearing the shit out of those my pillows, which doesn't bother me at all because they're not worth a shit anyways. That's a cool score. These are really neat. Look, guys, I just found like the reasons for disposal. This one says paint is chipping. This one says returned without box may be used. Broken hinge. Dirty. They threw it out because it's dirty. Broken K-cup inside. One piece is broken. Return item was not in plastic. May be used. Used item dirty. Display no box. Display no box. No packaging. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. We always wonder why they threw them out. And here's our answers. Dirty. Yeah, they throw them out because they're dirty. <laughs> Alright, my loves. That's it and that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for waiting for us to do part two. We had appointments. That's what took a couple days. We had things to do. Sorry. That was a pretty cool haul, I must say. We've been waiting three days to get into this bag with the little heaters in it for you guys. <laughs> we didn't know they were so, in there. Yeah, we didn't know they were in there. So, all right, guys, comment down below. Let us know what to do with those plates. Comment down below if you want to pay shipping for that frame. Comment down below. Just comment down below. We love it. <laughs> Make sure you like the, like the video. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe. And see you in the next video.